we have level one level two and level three we have the laboratory apparatus knowing the laboratory apparatus and i know most likely is in the chemistry area knowing the laboratory apparatus will also help you in physics the next is the periodic table now knowing the elements which will help you understand atoms ions valency naming of compounds and so on now you need this in your chemistry chemistry is such that you just need to know the element because chemistry revolves around all the first 20 elements that is if you are studying for your wc or non tech exams and almost every topic once you lack in the understanding of the periodic table or what the periodic table entails you are most likely to lack in a topic in chemistry looking at the next one conversion of units now conversion of units you need it in physics and a little bit of chemistry as well in fact you need it in chemistry because of the topic called more concept which i will talk about so conversion of units that is distance time and then mass nanometer picometer femtometer and so on you just need to be a master of these topics now another very important topic is the linear motion linear motion which you would need most especially most primarily in physics in physics another topic i categorize in the level two is naming of compounds you know if you want to be a master of chemistry you cannot overemphasize this this topic naming of compounds you see understanding chemistry is not just about knowing a bit you can't just know a bit and be a master you should understand everything from the beginning to the end to be a master you know there are some topics or some questions that when you answer you don't need your tutor or your lecturer to tell you that you got it right you just need to know that you got it right and that's what chemistry is so the naming of compounds it will help you in chemistry and also in biology because sometimes you have to do with chemistry of the macromolecules on to the next topic organic chemistry organic chemistry is not that difficult it just has a lot of unusual symbols that most students are not conversant with but if you would listen to your tutor or the one teaching you organic chemistry can be taught to even someone in junior high school for he or she to understand so organic chemistry is more in chemistry and a little bit of it is found in biology a very very important topic that always drops electricity electricity you can't do away with electricity if you are preparing for integrated science exam for wasi or not deck even in a bc so you need it mostly for your physics and the reason why even though it's just for one elective the reason why i'm bringing it here is you just can't go away with it if you're a science student you just need to understand it because you are most likely to get it genetics and variation is most likely to be found in biology just biology only biology but why did i include it i included it because you are most likely to get in your integrated science as well as your elective biology you know this is a topic that requires a lot of thinking and you know most students are used to memorizing and pouring out but things are changing we are transitioning to the stem system which requires a lot of thinking so why is most likely to bring give you questions on genetics and variation for you to think to reproduce your understanding not just to be able to pour out what you memorized now more concept i would call it the almighty more concept when you understand more concept very very well you will enjoy chemistry especially the chemistry practicals because most of the chemistry practicals is on more concepts you just can't hate more concepts and enjoy chemistry click on the image by my channel name to see more videos which i make